So if you imagine an object that is a television, that's a radio, that's a computer, wh whatever computer means. You imagine an object that um, has an incredible sound system. You imagine all of those functionalities, all of those technologies, you imagine them converging into one object. What should that object be? What on earth should it look like? One of the things that I think is really striking about the product are, are the colors that we've used, the materials and the finishes. So those range from, from fabric on, on the speaker through to, to leather on the palm rest. Even the subwoofer that normally lives on the floor actually has a large rubber component on the top. We really also wanted to design a product that would fit into environments, into personal environments, much better than traditional solutions have done. The footprint of the product, we know that traditional computers take up way too much room on the desk. They're too big, they're too heavy. So we wanted to design a product that had a very small footprint, a product that is easy to move around. We wanted to try and manage the cables better, to, to, to actually make the thing easy to, to set up, but also to make sure that the back of the, the computer, the back of the object, was as well resolved as, as the front. And certainly the sound system of the product really did demand that we try to convey, try to describe just how compelling, just, just how um, impressive the experience is. Painting the plastics with a, a lacquer that actually has metallic flake in as well gives the plastics a depth that you don't often associate with, with, with computers. The foot on the product is, is die cast from metal. Um, that's, that's a great material in terms of its strength and its weight. But the foot also serves two purposes. Um, obviously to support the unit, it lets you adjust the, the angle of the main head unit. But also it folds up and becomes a handle. You can have the, the pointing device integrated with the palm rest. You can actually detach it and use it to the side of the keyboard. Or you can actually replace it with a mouse altogether. The 20th anniversary Macintosh, I think, really describes a whole new product type. And while it doesn't have answers for all the questions it asks, I think it's, it's, it's a consequential, it's an important product. I think it gives a new face, a new meaning to technology that has changed at an enormous pace over the last 20 years. I think more significant, more exciting, is the indication is the signal that Apple takes design very seriously, that Apple is prepared to innovate, maybe ask more questions than provide answers for, but that we're pushing design extremely aggressively as we close the millennium.